space is limitless and so is our imagination. Greetings everyone. I'm Romia Baidya from Ilam. I'm 17 years old and a student of Little Angels College, Jalitpur. This is my video for the second national space speech competition organized by Nepal Astronomical Society. The topic I'm reviewing today is Sabbat improves life. Let me begin with a personal experience. It was the time I was exploring the valley all alone when I lost track of my time and place. I had no idea what part of the valley I was in, but I was not worried because I could easily navigate my way using the GPS system on my cell phone. I don't know if God was watching over me at that time, but I'm pretty definite that some satellite had a lens on me. It all began in the year 1957, when the first artificial satellite named as Sputnik 1 launched into the space. It was at that crucial moment a tale of science fiction turned into a reality. Today, more than 2,000 satellites are orbiting our home planet Earth and enabling us to achieve new objectives and innovation by contributing considerably for our well-being. For example, the first artificial satellite of our own country, named as Nepalisat-1, helped us by giving us information on our country's geography. Earth observatory satellites like this are contributing in various sectors like communication, navigation, and even science application. Talking about communication. The first word that would strike anyone's mind would be the internet. And I would not be exaggerating if I say satellite internet is one of the best technology in providing lives of people, not just in the urban areas, but also the rural ones where geography can be really challenging. Satellite internet is able to reach such remote corners of the world and improvise communication that is shrinking the world into a global village. Sitting in one corner of the world, we are able to watch the live match of our favorite football team being broadcasted using the satellite connection. Not just that, online video conferencing, which works through the relaying and amplifying signals of satellite using a transponder, is helping in businesses and education. Even during a global pandemic like we are facing right now, we are able to continue our work and studies using this kind of technologies. Satellites are used for guiding transportation since they are vital to logistic systems. Using GPS satellites, we are able to track our position on Earth and with their active collaboration with the Internet, they are able to tell us about the places near us. This kind of technologies are beneficial to drivers and even businesses for better tracking of the shipments. Even engineers are now depending upon satellite information for infrastructure maintenance and measurements, which means that satellites are simplifying the task of getting large amount of information, which seemed like a really tedious task back in the past, thus saving our time for further analyzation and improvisation. We all know that satellites are used for weather forecasting, but do we also know that they are used for the prediction of upcoming disaster events? such as tornadoes, floods, etc., so that we can grasp the extent of damage we may have to face in order to design the safest way for the rescue beforehand. Which means, as we try overcoming these major challenges, satellites are guiding our efforts and even saving our lives. But when we talk about satellite improving life, does it refer to the human life only? No, because now satellite technology is even being used for protection of wildlife. Using the geomapping facilities provided by the satellite, we are able to track and locate the habitats of endangered species and work towards the preservation of it based on the satellite information. I have an example for this. A Siberian endangered species of crane named as the vodka is now being tracked using the Earth orbitary satellites by monitoring its migratory routes. Not just that, even farmers are now depending upon satellite imagery for determining best time of crop irrigation and productivity. Which means, even the food that we eat now is indirectly connected to the satellites. For example, the SMAP satellite, which is used for mapping of the soil moisture. Even the satellites that are orbiting other planets, comets, etc. are helping us to know about the world beyond ours. Making the process of space exploration easier and safer while we ourselves are on Earth. At the end, I would say, even though we may or may not always recognize the efforts of satellites, we also cannot deny the fact that they are now a part of our everyday life. And if we can improvise satellite technology even further more in the future, then of course our life would also be more advanced and improved. Thank you.